السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Company and Marketing Strategy Partnering to Build Customer Relationship Today we are speaking about strategic planning in the marketing activities Strategic planning is the process of developing and maintaining a strategic fit between the organizational goals and the capabilities of its changing marketing opportunities. It's strategic planning. Steps in strategic planning. Step one, defining the company mission. Step two, setting a company objectives and goals. Step three, designing the business portfolio and finally planning marketing and other functional strategies step one step one defining a market oriented mission what's mission what's mission mission uh, or uh, the mission statement is the organization purpose what wants to accomplish in the larger environment. Market-oriented mission statement defines the business in terms of satisfying basic customer needs. The mission of Google, we help you organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. There are two types of developing or setting a, a mission, a company or organization mission. Product-oriented definition and the market-oriented definition. For example, if we, we take Amazon.com as a company, uh, when they define their mission from a product-oriented definition, they said that their mission is we sell boxes, videos, CDs, toys, consumer electronics, and other products online. And when they defined a market oriented definition, they said that we make the internet buying experience fast, easy, and enjoyable. We are the place where you can find and discover anything you want to buy online. So we should set a market-oriented definition. And then we should turn or translate this uh, mission in a way or another into uh, company objectives and goals, like business objectives, build a profitable customer relationship, invest in research, improve profits, over marketing objectives like increase uh, market share, create local partnership, or increase promotion. And then the designing the business portfolio. Or, uh, um, yes, designing a business portfolio. What's business portfolio? The business portfolio is the collection of businesses and products that make up the company. Portfolio analyze or analyzing is a major activity in strategic planning, whereby management evaluate the products and the businesses that make up the company. Analyzing the current business portfolio. S B U. We should divide our organization into a strategic business unit. S B U. Uh, 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 S B U can be a company division, product line within a division, or a single product or brand. And I think the current business portfolio requires to identify SPU 
assess the attractiveness of SPU and decide how much SPU support a support that. So, step one, identify key businesses, strategic business unit or SPUs that make up the company. Step two, assess the attractiveness of its various SPUs. Decide how much support each SPU. It's a BCG matrix. It's a matrix developed by Posting Consultancy Group that using uh, a two dimension to evaluate SPU's uh, attractiveness. The first dimension, it's market loss rate. And second dimension, it's relative market share. So, if the SPU has a high market share with a high uh, market growth rate, it is a store. High, high. Second SPU, it's a low market share with a, with a high growth rate, it's question mark. It needs time to evaluate SPU. Again, in order to know what is the next step to transfer to a store or to a dog. What's, what's a, a cash cow? It's a high a market share with a new gross rate. It's producing cash, but no gross rate. And finally, a low, low, it's a dog. Low market share and also a low market gross rate. So we should, we should drop it. Why we use a BCG? We use a BCG to decide. Uh, which SPU we should keep, which SPU we should support, which SPU we should invest in, and which SPU we should develop. And also we are facing a problems with uh, a BCG matrix, a difficulty in defining SPUs and difficulty in measuring market share and gross rate, plus timing, consuming, expensive, focusing on the current business, not future plan. And another matrix for expanding or extend our business, developing strategies for gross and downsizing. The first tool, it's a product, uh, it's a product market expansion grade. It's a tool for identifying company, company gross opportunities. Using also a two dimension, dimension focus on the market and the other focus on product when we using the uh, uh, existing market with existing product it's a market it's a market penetration how to penetrate the market how to increase the uh, uh, usage rate how to add another sizes another backing another or, or using uh, existing market with a new product it's a product development to develop a new product market in uh, it in the existing market and also we can use uh, existing product or you can use existing product in a new market it's a market development and finding new markets with the new products it is diversification market penetration Gross by increasing sales to current market segment without changing the product. Market development gross by identifying and developing new market segment for current products. 
uh, product development. It's a gross strategy that offer new or modified product to existing market segments. And the finally, diversification. It's a gross strategy through starting up or acquiring businesses outside uh, the company's current product and also current market. Developing strategies for growth and downsizing. Sometimes our company need to downsize, to downsize, uh, harvest or divest uh, prisoners that uh, unprofitable or that no longer fit with the company strategy. Partnering to build the customer relationship. We speak. We we we, uh, we we already discussed this issue in chapter um, distribution in just in chapter twelve when we speak about the chain, a series department that carry out a value creating activities to design, produce, market, deliver, and support the firm products. Its value delivery network is made up of the company, suppliers, distributors, and ultimately customer who partner with each other to improve performance of the interior system. And when we try to link to link between uh, a customer value and relationship with segmentation, targeting, differentiation, and the positioning with the market, with the marketing mix, product price, place, and promotion, and finally with a marketing process or a managerial process in the marketing activities. All of this happened in a, within an environment or uncontrollable factors. We know that market segmentation means dividing a market into smaller segments, and the market segment means a group of customers who share a common need, who share a, co who, who share a common need. But market targeting is a process of evaluating each market each market segment attractiveness and selecting one or more segment to enter. And positioning means arranging for products to occupy a clear, distinctive, and desirable place relative to competing products in the minds of the target customer. And the whole marketing plan supports the positioning strategy. <laughs> Differentiation begins the positioning process. It means that to offer different market offering for different segments uh, we target. The whole marketing plan supports the positioning strategy. Developing an integrated marketing mix. What's marketing mix? It's a set of controllable tactical marketing tools, product price base and promotion that the firm brands to produce the response it wants in the target market. Product, price, place and promotion. Product, I mean feature, quality, design, style, brand name, backing, label, service. When I speak about price, I will speak about price, ease to price, discounts, credit terms. When we speak about place, I'm speaking about the channel, coverage, locations. When we speak about promotion, we're speaking about advertising, personal saying, and sales promotion, and also public reach. And this is how to manage the uh, marketing effort. Starting with planning, develop strategic plans, 
or marketing plans, implement it, carry out the plans, and control, measure, evaluate, and taking corrective actions. Managing marketing effort, it's a SWOT analysis. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and the threats. It's analyzing the internal and external environment. The internal environment, its strengths and weaknesses. The external environment, its uh, opportunities and threats. When we are speaking about strengths, its internal capabilities that may help company reach its objectives. And when we speak about weaknesses, its internal limitations that may interfere with a company's ability to achieve its objectives. And when we are speaking about external environment, we are speaking about opportunities. It's external factor that the company may, may be able to exploit to its advantage. Threats. It's uh, external factors they may, that may challenge the company performance. Managing a marketing effort, marketing planning, planning. it's uh, parts of a marketing planning. Executive summary, marketing situation, threats and opportunities, objectives and the issues, marketing strategy, action programs, budgets and controls. Managing the marketing effort, marketing implementation, turns marketing plans into marketing action to accomplish strategic marketing objectives, addresses who, how, where, and when. Managing the marketing effort, the marketing department organization may be organized based on a functional organization, geographic organization, product management organization, and also market or customer management. And controlling, controlling. Controlling means evaluating the, video, the results uh, by comparing our plans with an uh, actual in order to know the variation and taking of a corrective action to achieve objectives. And there are two types of controlling, operating control, and strategic control. And the final return, we should measuring the and the managing return of a marketing investment, return of a marketing investment or marketing ROI, means the return on a marketing investment. It's uh, is net return from a marketing investment divided by the costs of the marketing investment provide a measurement of the profit generated by investment in a marketing activities. This is how to set a marketing strategy and how to divide your company into analyze your business portfolio, dividing your company into SPUs and uh, evaluate a strategic business unit and also, and also we discussed how to expand your business we are speaking about expansion great rate or um, downsizing or how to downsizing your business and finally thank you and see you next lecture inshallah